Hey everybody, it's me Megs, and I'm here to show you guys exactly how I got this super cute bang look. It is by My First Wig, and this is the Malaysian straight silky wig with bangs. And these wigs come with a really nice plastic casing for traveling and a cute little pouchy pouch to hold all your wig necessities like clips. Um, it has a small tooth comb in here for combing your hair and trying to get everything nice and sleek and in place when you have your wig. Also an elastic band to, you know, make sure your wig is a little more secure and of course bobby pins that you need. It did come with a wig cap and this one was slightly darker than the last one so I was really happy about this. I put on two caps. I did not braid my hair underneath here, which I should have, but I'm gonna flat iron this wig today <laughs> and I'm gonna use my Cure Care uh, Silk and Seal, my favorite on this wig. So I did wash and deep condition this wig. I deep conditioned this wig for like two days on accident again but it still turned out really nice the bangs as you can see come a little longer so you can adjust them to your face and this is a 20 inch wig and um, it's jet black too I really like how dark it is so I never cut the lace off until I know I'm gonna put it on so I'm gonna cut the lace um, the lace is really nice and um, fine as you can see it's not really too thick so I cut it off and which what is good about this is that this wig has bangs so I don't have to be super neat so if this is your first wig you don't have to be like crazy neat about it and it comes with um, adjustable straps and combs in the back but I took the comb out at the nape because it was hurting me so I decided to remove that comb in the nape area of the wig so I'm gonna adjust the straps um, to my liking to make sure it's nice and secure and uh, like that they have these little loopholes in the back that you just put them on and then you just slide this bad boy on I should have braided my hair but I didn't so make sure you braid your hair underneath so it'll be nice and smooth so as you can see the lace looks really natural and I'm going to have all the specs down in the description too. So you see it's a little bumpy, but that's okay. And the bangs are a bit long, so I'm going to have to cut these bangs to my liking. And I want a blunt straight across bang. So I'm going to make sure that I cut a little lower than my intended length because I don't want to cut too short and mess it up. So you always kind of go a little long at first and then adjust. So I'm just going a little bit at a time. I always start in the middle and then basically work my way around the middle piece as far as the length so I'm gonna take a piece that I already cut and measure it against the long piece so I have a guide as to how long I want my bang and make sure they're as even as possible so I'm just gonna cut that again taking my time because this is very important <laughs> you don't want to mess your bang up so that's that and I'm just gonna go ahead and proceed to do that with the rest of the bangs I wanted a really really blunt almost kind of like a black china bang I love how she has her bangs so blunt so cute so I wanted kind of like a blunt bang look so that is pretty much it just kind of take your time and I'm I pulled my wig back just a little bit because they are still a little long but I didn't want to cut any more into it because I loved how I got the bang right the first time so what now I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna flat iron uh, the wig. I'm just gonna kind of section it off like I always do. I do have a full tutorial to show you guys how I flat iron my wig, so you can check that out in the description. But I did apply my Cure Care Silk and Seal to the whole section, and I'm gonna section it off within that section. Use a uh, dimming brush to you know brush out the area, and then do kind of like the follow method with the flat iron. And this is my KQC Ceramic Flat Iron. The name will be in the description. So I just use a uh, small section and do the follow method with a small tooth comb to make sure I get the pin straight look that I desire. And as you can see, it gets really, really straight and this hair is super soft. This is Malaysian texture and it's really, really, really soft. So I like that. And it has a really nice shine. It had a natural shine before I put the silk and seal on there, but it just adds a little extra. So as you can see, it's really, really nice, really shiny, really flowy. Nice and lightweight. This wig isn't heavy at all, which is a really big plus because it's hot outside in the summer and you don't want anything too heavy. So I just proceeded to flat iron the entire wig until I got this look. So now I have to work on my bangs. So I spray some silk and seal on my bangs, just a little bit. And I'm just gonna section off the bang area and flat iron that, it, that too. I don't wanna like over bump it. I kind of want it a bit straight looking. So I'm just gonna kind of run through um, with my iron here. 
just to get a little more neat like that take a small tooth comb comb it out and then just run the iron through just to have like a subtle bump i don't want church bangs nothing there's nothing wrong with church bangs but you know church bangs you know when you're a kid when you go to church on easter sunday your bang will be super tight <laughs> we don't want that we want a nice you know kind of straight just a bump a little bump in the bang like that so I'm just gonna proceed to kind of manipulate in my bang to make sure it's nice and neat, and that's that. I'm gonna use my Sebastian Shaper Plus, um, uh, girl, what's this called? Hairspray, and make sure I get all the little flyaways out of my hair. And I just, it just adds a finishing touch, makes it really, really neat. This hairspray is very lightweight, it's not crunchy at all, it's a really nice soft hold. And I'm gonna take my flat iron and make sure I get all those flyaways want it nice and neat so I'm gonna spray some more of the hairspray on a small tooth comb and then run that through the bang area too to make sure I don't have any flyaways and I'm gonna do that with basically all of my hair I, I just like doing this as an extra step because it just makes it nice and neat and it makes so my hair won't go anywhere even though this is a very soft hold so it didn't make my hair crunchy or anything and that's that, that's pretty much it. Just run it through, just comb it through, just to add the finishing touch. So it just kind of tamed everything down a bit and also add a really nice shine to it. So this is pretty much the finished look. Very cute, this is a 20 inch wig. I am only 4'11", so this appears really long on me. Um, I think I'm gonna cut it later just so it can be a little shorter. And this is the look. I really love it. Super cute everyday type of wig or, you know, a wig that you really don't have to do too much in. So if, if it's your first wig, this is probably like your go-to wig because you don't have to mess in the hairline too much. So please look in the description. There is some special coupon codes and things like that in the description below that you can check out. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later.